So what I wanted to do is give you a little bit of a perspective on the kettlebell kickboxing KBIA instructor course. Uh, some of you may be familiar with kettlebells, and you may be familiar with how to swing the kettlebell, but you may not be familiar on how to apply that to a huge group fitness class, a small uh, class, or even your private clients. So some of the most common faults and fixes, and how to start to uh, teach the individual to swing correctly. Um, others don't swing the kettlebell correctly at all. There's a lot of uh, industry professionals, uh, really great trainers that are not educated with the kettlebell. So it is its own science and it requires its own study. And it's only going to enhance what you know already. But if you know how to swing a kettlebell, you feel comfortable and you're really curious about uh, what this class or certification has to offer, I am going to teach you one really cool variation of the kettlebell swing today. And I'm certain that you've not been exposed to this before. And this is just one of the many gems that you're going to find in the instructor course. So let's take a quick look. Now most of you that are familiar with kettlebell swings, I'm going to just take a little bit of an angle here. Uh, you understand the concept, and again I'm not teaching fully the kettlebell swing, you should know it already, the concept of hip hinging or leaning over the kettlebell, the idea that you're only using the posterior chain, at no point are you using the anterior chain or the front of the body, the idea that you're squeezing the glutes and your hip hinging on the way back, and that the kettlebell does not come above the shoulder in the standard swing. So there's a lot of uh, cues that you go through with the kettlebell swing. So this is, for most of you, your standard good kettlebell swing. You'll load the bell and you'll start to swing. <laughs> Explosive with the hip, engaging the glutes, making sure everything's working, hip hinging, heels stay on the ground, never lifting the kettlebell up with the arms and keeping the back nice, strong and straight. And then you'll unload. And that is the kettlebell swing that you use. Maybe you do swing switches, high pulls, other variations, but the general kettlebell swing is this. But there are two hidden swings within the kettlebell swing. So I want to give those to you. And this is, again, just a small, tiny perspective of the vast curriculum that you're going to get when you do the kettlebell kickboxing KBI instructor course. So let's take a look. The first swing is a mobility kettlebell swing. So it's exactly the same kettlebell swing that you're used to, except it's going to take a very deep range of motion, both at the bottom and at the top of the kettlebell swing. So you're going to explore your entire range of motion. This is called a mobility swing. And one of the reasons is it really gives you the deepest range of motion, strengthening the tendons, joints, ligaments, and muscles. So let's look at the mobility swing. You'll load the same way, you'll have the same biomechanics, but at the same time, you'll take the kettlebell as far back as you can in your hip hinge, never getting the kettlebell below the knees, and then you'll take it as far up as the, the, the most upper part of the shoulder without shoulder shrugging. So let's do four mobility swings. One, deep. Two, going as deep as I can. Three, and four. Awesome. So you can see that I took a very deep range of movement in the back and I went as high as my shoulders, no higher without shoulder shrugging at the top. And that is actually a mobility swing. It's a little bit, uh, it feels a little different. It might take you a little bit longer to execute this swing than your traditional swing. And then we'll look at the second swing, the power swing. So the power swing is the complete opposite. And it teaches you to be extremely powerful with the hips, to produce, uh, to start to engage the glutes faster and produce extreme amounts of power with the hips and the glutes. So this applies to professional athletes, it pro applies to diversifying your class or your private client and progressing the student or the class into new movement. So when you were looking at the power swing, you'll load the same way, uh, the same exact structure here, except you'll shorten the swing as much as possible. So the opposite of the mobility swing. So it'll be a very short hip hinge and a really short explosion. So I'm trying to get a lot of reps here if that's the way you want to think about it. Still a hip hinge here and still squeezing the glutes, but you see that I'm much more explosive and I'm getting far more reps and becoming neuromuscularly more efficient. So that is your power swing and you feel the glutes and they just kind of go one, two, three. It's a completely different swing than your traditional or mobility swing. And I know a lot of you have not been familiar with these two options and this is just one of the many, many variations uh, that are set on biomechanics and real sports science. So never made up or just conceptualized, literally backed by science. Um, and good progressive movement. So these are just one of the, the many swings that you'll learn in your KBIA course. The mobility and the power swing. Try them.